evil person has created another mass casualty event. Thankfully, thank, you know, thanks to God, most high, there was a police officer at the location on another call. And when he heard the gunfire, he ran to the gunfire and put this evil person down like the rabid dog that he was. But it got me to thinking, my wife mentioned this morning, you know, why did he do what he was supposed to do when those at Uvalde, Broward County, Santa Fe, Texas, they hid, they waited in the parking lot, they took care of themselves, played on their phones, laughed, used hand sanitizer because they were more afraid of COVID than they were concerned about the dying children in the room next to them. You know, what is it that causes a man to do his duty and run towards gunfire while other men set aside and protect themselves even if they are claiming it was orders in my line of work that's what I do I've always been trained from the time I was a child by my father you run towards trouble you stop it I was thinking, you know, how does that carry over into the kingdom of God? Do you run towards the attack on truth? Or do you sit behind your four walls with your hands folded, being bottle fed the milk of their doctrine? Do you run towards the distress of widows and orphans or do you shrug your shoulders turn aside and say they don't belong to me do you run towards the debauchery and perversion of this world that is creeping into the kingdom of God and call it out for what it is or do you laugh it off as, oh, look at that idiot. Look what they're doing. Huh, I would never be like that. I don't want to hurt their feelings. I would never do that, but I, I don't want to hurt their feelings, so I'm just not going to say anything. What kind of man are you? Do you run towards gunfire? Or do you protect yourself? You have an incoming call. about that what kind of man are you have a good day